Charges of racism and bias force now the removal of a high school football broadcaster from his duties. Our Steve Pickett in Cleburne now with the rest of the story. It is homecoming night for the Cleburne Yellow Jackets, but inside the Huddle House Diner, the talk surrounds the man who claims to love Cleburne High football. You know, when I talked to him this morning, he's pretty embarrassed, but mainly because he's embarrassed the town. Mark Banton co-announces Cleburne High games on JacketRadio.com. Last week against Arlington Seguin, his play-by-play -play took on a tone of racial prejudice and verbal bashing. The Cougars of Seguin became the Cougros, a combining of Cougars and Negroes. Take a listen. Fourth and one, Cougros. Snap, they did a, a Dobbin snap into the end zone. Then a statement about Seguin's cheerleaders. Can we talk about that cheer, uh, Seguin cheerleader? What do you think Matt Tammy should do with that? Jenny Craig has lots of work with to do with her. Those comments were deemed so out of line, the Cleburne School District demanded that Banton be removed from the Jacket Radio team, and Cleburne residents like Robert and Chastity Lewis said it all damages their town. Not only is it racist, but bullying too. It shouldn't be accepted in Cleveland. We're just so disappointed, and, and it's very unfortunate. There was no answer at Mark Banton's front door this afternoon. JacketRadio.com will air tonight's homecoming. But Cleburne ISD and Banton's friend at the Huddle House say enough damage has been done. Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News, Cleburne. One other item Steve shares with us, the Arlington School District has also filed a complaint with the UIL regarding Banton's statements about the Seguin children.